is a character who gets very powerful by the end, but starts pretty weak. While this guide will give you a massive leg up, his start's always pretty rough. First off, choose to play the intro. Choose to kill your sister. Although this choice locks you out of dash, it's definitely the better choice for new players because it teaches you necromancy. Second, pray to the god of the depths. Some people will insist you should pray to Grogoroth to learn attack magic, but most attack magic kind of sucks and depth has some really useful status effects. Third, stock up on magical items. It'll give you an extra soul stone and you'll need that later. At the start, go left and loot the nearby equipment racks. In the top right of the room, there's a skeleton. Resurrect him. Feel free to spend a lucky coin here if you're worried about your sanity. If he turns hostile, use counter magic to kill him instantly. Go deeper into the level 3 basement and collect the weapons from the top right room, and then go to the level 3 prisons. You should be able to find a ghoul crawling around. Use counter magic to kill it instantly, then resurrect it. Track to the level 3 basement and save in the bed, then kill the knight. Don't worry too much about losing limbs or gaining infections, just hit the legs then hit his head. If your skeleton loses arms, you can just equip it again after the battle. Skeletons are bugged and don't unequip weapons properly, so losing limbs barely affects them. If you or your ghoul loses limbs, it's fine, you'll get him back shortly. Loot his body once the battle's over for a claymore, one of the strongest weapons in the game. From here, backtrack all the way to the start, then enter the level 1 entrance. Somewhere in here is a ritual circle. Unequip all of your equipment, then show love to the ghoul. You'll mutate into a hideous disfigured monster, but you'll have the same equipment choices as any other main character, and a higher attack stat than anyone else as well. Equip the Claymore and any other heavy armor you picked up, then look around for a door that leads north. If you're lucky, you'll come across a ghoul that you can kill with counter magic, then resurrect under your control. The ghoul doesn't always spawn. Once you find the door, go through the level 1 courtyard, go straight north through the courtyard, and keep an eye out for a wooden door in the top right. It's not always there, but it has about a 50% chance of being there. You'll need to come back to it later. Go through the big doors in the courtyard to the inner hall and kill the two dark priests. See my video for how to do it safely. You'll find a purifying talisman and a soul stone. Use the soul stone you found and the soul stone you started with to get two lesser souls. Head south. If the sealed wooden door was in the courtyard, use counter magic to open it. If the sealed wooden door wasn't in the courtyard, it's somewhere in the level 1 entrance and you'll have to look for it. Once inside, talk to the hexen table and learn the skills Needleworm and Locust Swarm. Needleworm is a very weak but very cheap healing spell that you can use against helpless enemies for a few extra hit points. Locust Swarm is your panic button. It has a massive mind cost, but deals about 10 damage to everything in the fight and stuns it for two turns. In a pinch, that two turn stun can make the difference between life and death. With your claymore and massive attack power, you can stun a dangerous enemy, then hack it to pieces with your claymore.
If you have any questions about this video or becoming overpowered in fear and hunger, leave a comment or better yet, come ask me during one of my streams.